To start, read the question and make sure you understand it. They show us the structure of a polymer and ask us to draw the two monomers that combine to make it. They also tell us something about the type of polymer it is. A condensation polymer is one in which a small molecule is eliminated every time two monomers are connected. To plan your approach, first look for identical points in the polymer. This will help you locate the repeating unit. Then, since this is a condensation polymer, locate the site within the repeat unit where a small molecule could have been eliminated. With this information, chop up the polymer into its monomer units. OK, let's put our plan into action and solve the problem. To find an identical point in the polymer, pick a functional group and look for the next identical one. Let's use the oxygen that's part of the main chain. Locate the first one, then find the second one and check to see if it's identical. It's not. The first oxygen atom is connected on the right to a CH2 group, and the second oxygen atom is connected on the right to a carbonyl group. So keep moving down the chain to the next one. This one is identical. So our stars mark out one repeat unit. Now that we have the repeat unit, we need to locate the condensation point. There are ester linkages at the beginning, end, and middle of the repeat unit. You should recall that esters are formed by reaction between carboxylic acids and alcohols. The byproduct of this reaction is water. So these are our condensation points. The monomers are on either side of a condensation point in the middle of the repeat unit. Let's redraw them out below, including the eliminated water. Check that the question doesn't ask anything else, and that when you drew the monomers, you included the small molecule that gets eliminated. And you're done.